and give them listen listen give them a christocentric hug and say you are welcome you are welcome you are welcome oh hallelujah kindly take your seats before before i bring my address listen to this very well the national executive committee of the youth ministry worked on our slogan our vision slogan what we do hey brother hey sister we have edited it and we have upgraded it hallelujah and you know what you are the first group of people to know the new brand oh hallelujah and so I'm going to demonstrate it to you. You look at it and then you'll be the first to do it. It goes this way. I'm the one greeting you. So I will greet you. Hey brother. And then you stand, you stand as a soldier. You stand, I mean like this. Are there some soldiers of Christ in the house? All right, so when I go, hey brother, you say, be grounded. And then I go, hey sister, you go be grounded. Then at this time I go, hey brother, sister. Then you go, reach out, take over. <laughs> Please. Oh, hallelujah. Let me, let me humbly invite our deputy youth director, beloved deputy director, professor, and our secretary. Father God, please come. All right, so we are going to do it, and you see. So we go this way. Hey, brother. Then you respond, be grounded. Hey, sister, be grounded. Then we go, hey, brother, sister. Okay? Hey, brother, sister. And then you go this way. <laughs> Reach out, take over. Is that okay? So I'm going to shout to them. They will do it, and then after that, we all do it. Are you ready to go? So, so please listen. Let me go by it just once more, and then you get it. So, hey brother, be grounded. Then, hey sister, be grounded. Then, hey brother, sister. Then you go out, reach out, take over. So it is with the left that you take over. When you are taking over, like you are, you are, you understand the takeover move. You are taking over. Yeah. Are you ready to go? Let's do it once. Hey brother. Hey sister. Hey, brother, sister. Aha. Oh, hallelujah. All right, so reach out. Reach out. Take over. Shall we be on our feet? You are going down in history at the first group of people to do this. Come on, put your hands together for yourselves. Oh, hallelujah. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? All right, let's go. Hey, brother. Hey, sister. Hey, brother, sister. Hey. All right, now that you are getting it, we are going over again. When you have got it well, and then we bring the kekra. This one is called the kekra, but you get it first. So, hey brother, be grounded. Hey sister, be, um, I mean, be grounded. Hey brother, sister, reach out, take over. And then I will instruct, then you'll bring the kick crowd. When you are bringing the kick crowd, you jump a bit. Don't jump too much. You jump and your left foot will touch the ground and the right will come. Is that okay, please? All right, are you ready to go? Hey brother. Hey sister. Hey brother, sister. <laughs> oh hallelujah let's do it two more times and then Penty will record hey brother be grounded hey sister be grounded hey brother sister reach out take over wow two more times are you ready to go are you ready to go hey brother no you see when you are saying be grounded vim for day inside 
Are you ready to go? Yes. Hey, brother. Yes. Hey, sister. Yes. Hey, brother, sister. Yes. Wow. This is the last one. The Oga Kota Kota Kota. Are you ready to go? Let me see that you are ready. Let me see. Wow, you are ready. Okay. Let's go. Hey, brother. No, no, no. The response. This is 87%. I 100%. Are you ready to go? Hey, brother. Hey, sister. Hey, you are getting it. Let's go. Hey, brother. Hey, sister. Hey, brother, sister. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. This is the extra one, the entusu. Hey, listen. Hey, brother, be grounded. Hey, sister, be grounded. Hey, brother, sister, reach out. Take over. Kick out. Last one. Are you ready? Let's go. Hey, brother. Hey, sister. Hey, brother, sister. Wow! Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Please put your hands together for my dear leaders. Our dear Chairman, Apostle Eric Kabranya Meche, the General Secretary, Apostle Samuel Jao Obobi, the International Missions Director, Apostle Emmanuel Ajman Bekwin. Our dear area head for Koforudia, who is also an executive council member, Apostle Mike Etru. Our dear father of the youth ministry, the immediate past patron of the youth ministry, who is our father for the ministry forever. We don't want him to go. Hallelujah. Apostle Esu Asante, other members of the executive council, all our dearly beloved father, the area heads, our dear deputy director of the youth ministry, elder professor Eric Apuasante and the wife Mama Sally, our dear national secretary, Pastor Gordon Ansa, and other members of the national executive committee of the youth ministry, Pensa traveling secretaries, those of us here, and others who are working very hard at the sideline centers, our dear you pastors, both here and afar, and all pastors of the Church of Pentecost. Dear Pastor Ebenezer Japan, who is a special guest for this year's conference, and the wife, and then all other youth ministry workers. I also want to place on record our salutation to the National Coordinator of the Ministry to Teens, our dear Mrs. Comfort, Warner Adade, and the solid team she has. And then also, the Pencil Ghana coordinator, our dear Elder Samuel Boahini, and your wonderful team who are working with you in the national coordinating team. All Pencil leaders nationwide, and then here at this point, all teenagers in the Church of Pentecost, and all members of Pensa at the pre-tertiary level. Christ in you. With great joy, we see the beginning or the opening session of this year's conference. And I want to bring you the greetings of the chairman of the church, our dear apostle Eric Kwabna Nyameche, and our dear fathers, whom we have already saluted. Chairman sends his greatest of love to all teenagers of this church, both those on campus and in the local assemblies. And he sends his love, his greetings. He is with us in this conference, and so are all the leaders. On behalf of the National Executive Committee of the Youth Ministry, we want to thank God for his grace that he continues to give the youth ministry and for us to see today and I also on the behalf of the National Executive Committee want to welcome all of you to this year's Shakina Pretasiary Pensa and Ministry to Teens Conference. 
This year, our conference has undergone a great transformation as, by God's grace, we turn around it the third time of seeing uh, the conference. The uniqueness is that we have brought in both the home youth and those on campus very well in the arrangement of this conference. And it has gotten the new identity, Shakaina Pretashari Conference and Ministry to Teens Conference. This change announces our renewed commitment to ministry to young people, to teenagers in the Church of Pentecost. Everybody who looks closely at the membership trends of the Church of Pentecost knows that the Church of Pentecost has a seven-year, sorry, a 14-year period, 15-year period when approximated. For somebody to be a teenage member of the church, if you compare it to the adult membership or you even compare it to the senior members of the youth ministry, the young adults, whose span of years is seven years, you, you can just see that it takes twice as many years to be a teenager in the Church of Pentecost than it takes to be a young adult in the Church of Pentecost. When this reflection is brought to bear on the actual membership of the church, you will see that teenagers are the largest constituency of the Church of Pentecost. When you look at it that way, the teenage years are the years of numbers as we understand the trends in the Church of Pentecost. They are the years of formation. They are the most impressionable days in a person's life. They are the time or the period when we can make the greatest of all the changes according to the research of how the course of our lives go. It's also the time that the devil is hitting and hitting very hard. Everything the devil wants to do in the lives of people, in many cases, begins when they are teenagers. Maybe when they are in school or just run about those years. People learn to smoke in senior high school and when they are teenagers, they learn humanizing. Recently, we went to one of the senior high schools in Ghana and I quote the headmaster. The young people in this school are smoking and they keep smoking whatever they have. And unquote, he kept on mentioning very, very wild substances that the young people in the senior high school would smoke and how they wouldn't want to learn, how they are not interested in any other thing than just to have their way and waste their lives so that one day they regret it. This headmaster was so desperate, not knowing what to do with a crop of young people in that senior high school. What makes me quote him is that he said, when we found out, we realized many of them went into this when they were in junior high. So that is that. People are becoming chain smokers right from when they are in junior high. When are we going to give the broadest attention to these young people that the devil does not consider to be too young to begin his project with? This burden and the leading of the Holy Spirit is what brought the whole vision, I mean, direction that the chairman of the Church of Pentecost brought, that youth ministry is to give a detailed attention to this very, very important group of people that are in the church. Many changes have gone on. Some of them have included this separate conference we are having. We have re-emphasized the ministry to teenagers. Our meeting days have become weekly. We are developing resources and many other things. We are developing leaders so that we can give the needed attention to young people. This is why I bring this broad background to talk to every leader, to talk to everybody listening to me. The day to churn out the best out of the people you are raising is the day you gave attention to them when they were teenagers. This means that ministry to young people, teenagers for that matter, is very, very crucial. And we have gathered here today for that purpose and the centrality of this year's conference is about that. Particularly this year, 
Our focus is to encourage every young person and to empower you that it's a yes for you and that yes, you can make it and that you are part of God's family and that you are part of God's soldiers and that you cannot be excused because you are young. The Bible said that do not let anyone look down on you just because you are young. That is the word of God to say that no, young people are part of God's army. They can do a lot. And this conference is coming just to do that. The team for the conference is teens repositioned for exploit and maximum impact. And what is it seeking to do is that young people everywhere will be repositioned. You'll be returned. You'll be repositioned for maximum impact and the doing of greater things for the kingdom of our God. Like Daniel, yes, we can stand for the Lord. Like Jesus at a 12, yes, we can be part of the Bible study and we can drive it. Like Joseph, we can stand for God even when we are in prison. We can, yes, we can. And yes, we can turn a whole nation and the rest of the world around if only we allow him. If only we are repositioned. If only we are repositioned. The National Executive Committee of the Youth Ministry is so confident that the Lord is visiting us and none of us right here from Koforudia, I mean the Pentecost Senior High School here in Koforudia, which is hosting this conference, and the rest of the over 530 satellite centers, no teenager who is joining us will ever go the same. Let me have a living amen on that one. So on behalf of the NEC, we want to thank you very much, our dear father, the chairman, for making this happen, and all the leaders of the church. And then we want to thank everybody, including you, the teenager, who has made time to be with the Lord. We encourage you to have an open heart. Don't only be happy because you have met your friends, but open up to what the Lord would do with your life. I tell you, your life means a lot to the Lord Jesus. And if being a teenager is not important, Jesus wouldn't have been one. Jesus was. On that note, let me on behalf of the neck thank our dear area head, the Confederate area head for hosting us. Let us thank all the leaders there Area Secretary has been working very hard to help us. The District Pastor of Koforudia, our dear Pastor Joseph Tevia, and the entire Executive Committee of your district. And everybody, the youth pastor here and all the leaders, and the sector, traveling secretary, the sector head, and all of you, and of course, the headmasters uh, of all the schools here, especially of Pensec and all the leaders for allowing us to have this conference here and for all the benefits that you are giving this conference. May the Lord bless you and I pray for every youth that the Lord will meet you in this conference. Amen. Thank you very much, our Apostle. As our apostle said, let no man despise your youth. Let no man despise your energy because we are repositioned for maximum impact. Amen. Amen. So I would like to invite the literary team of Penseg to give us an opening act, um, act. Let's give them a round of applause as they come.
take charge. I am ready. Are you ready? Are you ready to face the opposition? Because our Lord is ready. And in those days, the Lord our God would be a fire. Ready to expose every proposition of the devil. He will divorce sons and twigs with fire. And he would be ready to take his place in this confused world. So I ask the question again. Are you ready? Because the composition, the disposition, all must be repositioned for Christ to claim back his position in us. There is every reason for us to reason in this season. Our God is on the move. The I am that I am is in motion. The church must begin to move in step with the cloud of glory. The church needs to be transformed. But before, their ears need to be informed. Come brother, come sister. It's now or it's never. You either be a part or you forever depart. There is no middle ground here. None at all. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Then open the wells of your hearts now. Because our Lord is ready. The commander-in-chief is ready. The Lord of hosts is eager to mold us into vessels. All he requires is that you, is that you, is that you, and you position yourself for this reposition. Reach out and take over. Who is your strength? If you want to confound this generation, bring the powers of this generation down. We want to then commit all our arsenals on board. Jesus is not there. He is alive and his church is ever powerful. If things are in you, you want to take this generation. Gifts must work in the church. I came to resurrect the giftings. All the giftings will be in operation. And be freed from all trouble. May the Lord bring deliverance. Lord bring relief in the name of Jesus.
So this is why we do the things that we have done. John 17 and verse 1, he lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify thy son, that thy son may bring glory to you. Belong! Holy Ghost, you were my strength, my shield. I put my trust in you all of my days. All of my days. Holy Ghost, you are my strength, my shield. Now put my trust in you. All of my days, all of my days. Holy, holy Ghost, holy Ghost, holy Ghost, you are my friend. Call me a servant He calls me friend I know his plan So spirit in me I speak tongues of fire Tongues of fire Oh he does not call me a servant He calls me friend I know his plan So spirit in me I speak tongues of fire Tongues of fire Yeah Then good drink say I did grace I say all day I praise the Lord He did give me all the strength I need to rise and raise my voice I'll be praising from the morning Praising to the back yeah. Worshiping the Father The Son and Holy Spirit Christ in you somebody Christ in you indeed the Lord is preparing an army for war you and I must be enlisted we must be repositioned for maximum impact somebody heat so at this juncture I would like to prepare I would like to ask all of you to prepare your hearts as we enter a moment of worship Let's enter the throne room with clean hearts and hearts full of praise. Let's call, let's call upon our sister Amanda Doku to lead us into a moment of worship. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can hear you. Hallelujah. We are about to worship the Maker, the Prince of Peace, the I am that I am, the Almighty. Ah, I don't need to tell you to stand up, do I? <laughs> you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Yeah. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Alpha. Ah uh -huh. 
God, the Lion of Judah. Oh, we worship you. We adore you. Ah, the King of Kings, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Oh, from the rising of the sun to the setting of the day. Oh, you are the same God. We say we worship you. We adore you, Father. In Jesus' name. want to give a mighty clap of you to the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you, sister, for that awesome time of worship. Friends, by God's grace, we have been blessed with the presence of some of our fathers. A good number of us have already been introduced. And so I take the kind privilege to introduce the remaining ones. As already said by our dear Apostle Ebenezer Hagen, the youth director, we want to also place on record that our area head um, is on an assignment somewhere. For this reason, Pastor Musa Yaya, the area secretary, is representing him. Pastor Musa, we acknowledge you, sir. Friends, the area deacon for the Church of Pentecost, Koforidia area, is here. And I'm privileged to introduce to you Elder Samuel Suku, the area deacon. God bless you so much. We've also been blessed by the presence of our dear pastor and Mrs. Selena Opoku, who are at the Church of Pentecost Edriso District here in Kofodria area. We also have our own Osofo, Emmanuel and Mrs. Sewa. He see the Pensec chaplain. Friends, we also have here with us our dear elder Ebenezer Ankama, who is the ministry to team, the national coordinating team. He is a member. And we acknowledge the many youth workers and traveling secretaries across the length and breadth of the over 500 satellite centers of this very important conference. Friends, we have a tradition in Pensa where every year we have a group of people that we call the coordinating team. We are privileged to have the Pensa Ghana coordinating team here. The coordinator has been introduced Friends, for the sake of time, you may like to give us a wave. The Lord bless you so much. The National Coordinating Team. The National Coordinating Team actually come from a zone. And for the 2023 and early part of 2024 um, academic and spiritual year, this responsibility has fallen on the leadership at the BA and the Northern Regions. For this reason, we have the traveling secretaries, whom we dearly call the hosting traveling secretaries. And I am privileged to introduce them to you. We have here with us Pastor Robert Juma, the traveling secretary for Techiman Sector. He is here because they are our host for this year. God willing, next year, another zone will take over from them. We have also been blessed with the presence of our dear pastor, David and Mrs. Abuajiwa Arthur. God bless you so much. They are at Upper East Sector. Upper East Sector. We also have with us um, Pastor George Osei Bonso, the traveling secretary for Upper West Sector.
And the TS that is coordinating all these TSs in that zone is in the person of Pastor Richard and Mrs. Monica Ala Anan, Northern Sector Traveling Secretary. Dear people of God, at this point, we want to listen to the Word of God. I am privileged to tell you a little about our dear speaker tonight. He was once a student of Pope John's Secondary School and Junior Seminary. He was also at a point in time a student of University of Ghana and University of Cape Coast as well. Once upon a time in Pensa, he was a prayer secretary. And then also, that was at the University of Ghana, and then also at the University of Ghana, he was the Pensa president. When it comes to the Church of Pentecost leadership, and especially, I need not say that this person is a seasoned youth worker. And you will find out that he has also been a PENSA traveling secretary before. He was the PENSA TS for central sector and western sector. From there, he also served as the youth pastor for Tessi Nungwa area. Friends, until recently, he was also a member of the National Executive Committee of the Youth Ministry. He started off his ministry at Mirigu District in Borga area. He proceeded to PIWC Cape Coast, later becoming the TES, later at PIWC Graceland. And as I speak to you right now, he is the district pastor for Kwadaso District in Kumase. Friends, I am talking about no other person than a man who loves God. And he is married to Mrs. Grace in Japan, and he has he's been blessed with five wonderful children. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you Pastor Ebenezer in Japan. Oh, let's give it up to him. Praise the Lord. Christ in you. We are grateful to God for an opportunity like this to join in this wonderful conference. Uh, we want to appreciate the, leader, uh, the leadership of the church, our dear chairman, uh, the general secretary, the IMD, for allowing young people to meet in fellowship as we have it here. I want to appreciate our dear director, Apostle Ebenezer Hagan, my big brother, for this great opportunity. Uh, together with the wife, Mama Prisla, we salute you. God bless you. And then Deputy Prof. Prof. The Lord bless you. And then all the National Executive Committee members, we really appreciate you. Um, we don't have too much time, so we will have to run through a few things and um, there's a song i want us to sing and then quickly we will share the word of god it's been on my heart um, for the past two days or so and um, the lyrics are holy spirit you are a pillar of fire light a fire in our hearts i'm doing translation Soja woyemu mayenye ade wosu yen mawiasin na hu se wasiesie ye hallelujah how many how many know how to sing it how many know how to sing the song okay if you you don't mind you can please rise to your feet let's sing um i don't want us to rush with the song sun sum krong kwa Uyo jafe du so jawo ye mu ma yenye ati wo so ye ma ya sinyi ne wo se wes 
generation for the Lord Jesus amen now the theme for the conference is teens repositioned for exploits and maximum impact teens repositioned for exploits and maximum impact now let me read um, I would 
run over a few things because of the time. Let me read um, from Daniel chapter 11. Daniel chapter 11 from verse 29 to 32. Daniel 11, 29 to 32. I'm reading from the NIV. At the appointed time, he will invade the south again, but this time the outcome will be different from what was done. Ships of the western coast will oppose him and he will lose heart. Then he will turn back and vent his fury against the holy covenant. He will return and show favor to those who forsake the holy covenant. His armed forces will rise up to desecrate the temple fortress and will abolish the daily sacrifice. Then they will set up the abomination that causes desolation. With flattery, he will corrupt those who have violated the covenant. But the people who know their God will firmly resist him. Now, King James, New King James says that, but the people who know their God, those who know their God, will work strong and do exploits. Amen. They will work strong and do exploits. Now, um, let's also read Colossians chapter 2. I'm reading these two theme texts and then we zoom into Colossians chapter 2. Uh, I'll pick it up from verse 6. So then, just as you have received Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your lives in him, rooted and built up in him, strengthened in the faith as you were taught, and overflowing with kindness. Amen. Overflowing with kindness. Hallelujah. Now, the focus for this conference is that young people will be empowered and that young people, I'm talking about you, that you will go out there and possess the nation. God will use you to take over, to reach out and to take over nations for Christ. Hallelujah. Now, the scripture we read from, I want to quickly um, explain a few things there. That scripture we, we read that, and those who know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Actually, it was a prophecy by Daniel concerning an event that was supposed to happen. I will not want to bore you with dates and names. But in summary, Daniel was talking about a time where a king called Antiochus IV was going to reign and he was going to rule over Israel and he was going to introduce strange things into Israel. Now, his name was Antiochus IV or Antiochus Epiphanes. He was saying that he was a manifestation of God. And so, one of the things he did was that he started attacking the people of God. He started killing women, killing children, killing men, and doing all kinds of things. And notable among the evils he did was the fact that the temple in Jerusalem, right in the temple, where they were supposed to worship God, he erected images, idols, having idols in the temple of God. And one of those um, idols was Zeus, a god of the Greeks. And then he also sacrificed a pig in the temple. He did many despicable things. And so gradually, his leadership was affecting the worship of God. Now, Daniel was saying that there will come a time where such a ruler will arise. And he would desecrate the temple. He would abolish the daily offering. He would stop anything prayer. He would stop anything Bible. He would stop anything Christianity. He would stop anything that, that, that has to do with the worship of God. But he said, in the midst of such wickedness, there are some remnant, some people who will resist him. They will do exploits. In spite of all these things, some people will arise and they will resist him. 
Now, it was fulfilled when in the midst of these atrocities, in the midst of these challenges, Antiochus was confronted by a man called Matatias Maccabi. Don't for, for, forget about the name. That's what we got. We, we get the people we call the Maccabees. So they decided that no, we are not going to allow this man to desecrate the temple of God. We are not going to allow him to, to bring an end to our worship. So they, together with his sons, they stood up and they confronted him. Hallelujah. And they preserved the faith. Now, tonight, are there some Maccabees in this house? Are there some people who are saying that social media is making a nonsense of Jesus? People are saying Jesus does not exist. People are saying that it doesn't make any sense to go to church. Are there some young people here who are going to say that we will rise up and bring glory to the name of God? Are there some people like that? Now, what Daniel said was that to be able to resist him, the person should only have one qualification. And that the person should be somebody who knows God. So he says, and those who know they are God. So the qualification in all, one main qualification for standing tall in these times is to know God. Now, I won't state much on this. And that's why we read from Colossians chapter 2, talking about being grounded, being established. Because there are times coming, it is only those who are grounded and established who will resist what the devil is doing. Now, if you go to 1 Samuel chapter 17, we might not read much because I want us to quickly round up. There is a story of a young man. I hope you all know David. You all know David. Why are you quiet? Everybody seems to be quiet. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll soon change gear. Hallelujah. A young man called David. Just probably like some of us here. And there was something going on. Amazingly, God decided to use a young guy to bring an end to something that a president of the nation, the ministers could not solve. A young person was anointed to resolve it. Hallelujah. Listen, you are not too young. Tell somebody you are not too young. Oh, shake another person and tell the person you are not too young to be used by God. No, 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 you are not too young. You are not too young. Not at all. You are not too young. And it shall come to pass in the last days that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. Hallelujah. It is time. You are not too young. Now, David was used in 1 Samuel 17. Now listen. When I was growing up, I had a lot of issues. You know, when you're a young person, you have a number of issues. I had a lot of issues with myself. I, sometimes you feel that I was not the very intelligent type. I was not part of those who would come first in class. I'm not first. And I'm also not, I'm somewhere in the middle, somewhere in the middle. So, you know, you feel like you are not too important. Secondly, you know, I'm a little bit fair. You understand? I'm also a fine boy. Now, <laughs> okay. Now, I realized any time I stood in the mirror, I realized that I had freckles on my face. You know freckles? You don't know freckles. Freckles are the, those dark, dark. Now, anytime I saw that on my face, I felt like um, I was nearly something. You understand? I won't say it here because we are alive. So I, had, I started having issues with my self-esteem as well. So academically, I'm not coming first. And then some, somehow, I looked also smallish. I've grown big. I was quite smallish. And you see, you are also not coming from 
a well-to-do background. There are people who would have their parents come to drop them in school. But we had to walk. school. Opening the door of your father's car was not a luxury I enjoyed. Now, a combination of these things, and then sometimes the dressing, you want to dress like somebody, you want to put on the best of shoes, but you don't have that. Even at the university, when I had passed my teenage, even at the university, there were issues. You know, you are feeling like, eh, what about this? What about that? I remember in the university, I had one black trousers. Praise God for black. Hallelujah for black. Black, anytime I get to heaven, I will ask the angel who brought black trousers to the world. I will go and shake the person. Black, no matter how dirty it is, get a sponge. You are done. You are gone. No, wahala. Now, so you see, young people, I went through some of these things. But one of those days, a, a camp meeting was organized. I was in church, all right. We're doing everything. Camp meeting was organized. I was young. I was around 14. So we went for a camp meeting, and they told us about the Holy Spirit. Now I'm telling you, one of the main factors that gave David the boldness. I'm coming to First Samuel 17. So we went for the camp meeting. They told us that, okay, we are going to do Holy Ghost baptism. And so when you come forward, we are going to pray for you. And you are going to speak in tongues. Because I was wondering how people could speak in tongues in church. How many of you wonder how people speak in tongues? You wonder because you wish you could speak, but it's just not coming. How many? And some of you too have spoken tongues before, but now it's like the MTN network. Hey, sorry. It's like a particular network. It goes on and it comes on. <laughs> now, we went there. We are called for it to be prayed for. So we came forward and then they started praying for us. Those days, it was Jesus, 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 Jesus. So they, they called us for, I stood there, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I, I called Jesus our one hour, Jesus didn't come. That day, we prayed, prayed, prayed. Now, it was a Saturday. It was a, it was a Thursday evening. Now, on the Friday, no, it was a Friday morning, rather. Friday. Now, after the Friday, I knew that we were going to end the camp meeting on the Saturday. So, I knew I had not received anything. I prayed to God. I said, God, let me receive something from you. So, Saturday, Friday evening, an announcement was made that all those who could not receive yesterday, tomorrow morning, we are doing a last session. I said, I will, I will get it. The following morning, I went there. I went there. I stood there. I said, God, touch me. God, touch me. All I saw was that I was speaking in tongues. Ma, 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 ma. Just that the only thing was that it was one syllable. Ma, 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 ma. And I was wondering, eh, people are speaking more than ma, 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 ma. What is this ma, 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 ma? But you see, that is something that really helped me and has helped me up to now. Now, in 1 Samuel 17, something is happening there. And you know what is happening? There are battle lines drawn. Now, listen. Let's say this is the land of Israel. This whole platform is Israel. The enemy, the Philistines, had encroached and had come into the land of the Israelites and they were waging war with the Israelites on their own land. And so the battle lines had been drawn. There was a hill on one side, a hill on another side. Are you following? I will land very soon. And so they were supposed to fight. And for 40 days, a man called Goliath stood up and called unto the Israelites, bring a man that I may fight with him. And all the men were running away. But God had prepared in his wisdom that he was going to use a young man to bring an end to the Philistine oppression. Do we have a young man or a young woman in this place that God is going to use? Do we have a young lady here that is saying that I want God to use me? Now, you might ask, who is Goliath? There are many Goliaths in this world. Many Goliaths. The devil is taking over the lives of many. Many young people, like Director said, some are smoking. 
addicted to masturbation. I met a young guy who told me, Pastor, I masturbate four times in a day. And he has been doing that for four years. It has affected him. The devil has encroached on him. He's a Christian. He goes to church. Probably he's active in a particular department in church. You meet young people addicted to sexually immoral things, pornography. There are young ladies in senior high school who are dating married men. The devil is taking over. There are people into occultism. There are people into lesbianism. There are people into gay. When I was in senior high, listen, senior high boy, me, I was there, then I started having feelings. Eh? Feelings for the same sex. You say, hey, eh? Then there's no time. I'll tell you the story later. So the devil is, is harassing young people with all these things. As I'm talking, you might be going through a struggle, one, one struggle or another. But you see, God wants to use you. He wants to use you. He wants to use you to bring something down. He wants to use you to reach out to somebody. He wants to use you to change people. He wants to use you to transform society. Now, David went to the scene by God's own divine wisdom. First Samuel 17. And when he got there, he saw Goliath taunting the Israelites, talking about them. Hey! You are powerless. You cannot do anything. But you know what David had? Not much. He was anointed. He had the grace of, of God upon his life. And not only the grace of God. What also gave him access was that. David also knew how to play the harp. So he had a gift as well. Not only spiritually empowered. But naturally talented as well. Hallelujah. So when he got there. And he saw Goliath. He remembered his experience when his brothers were at home and he was asked to go and take care of his father's flock. It felt like it was a punishment, not knowing it was setting a stage for him to confront Goliath. Whatever you are going through as a young person right now, no money, no school fees. Sometimes you go to school, there's no, um, there's no food. Others are coming with provisions. Uh, when I was in senior high school, I used to wonder how conflicts taste. A month will be conflicts. Me, me be that. So you are wondering, eh, can, I, can something good come out of me? Look at the struggles I'm going through and then all that. Listen, just hold on. Very soon, all those seemingly unpleasant experiences will become a stage for you to rise up and confront that which you need to confront. Hallelujah. Who feels like, who feels like, I can't do anything. I come from a poor background. Look at me, I'm not beautiful. Look at me, I'm not handsome. Look at me, I'm not intelligent. Who feels not qualified? God is here tonight to call such people. To be used to reach out to many. Hallelujah. So David went to the sea. He heard Goliath shouting. Now he said, there was a holy anger in him. Who, who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Now, when he started asking, his brothers who knew him when he was a child, one of the brothers said, I know you are a stubborn point. Go away, go away. Sometimes, when the young people want to do something, for those of us who are adults, we think they are, they are, they are still young. We don't want to give them opportunity. They are, they are, too, they are too young. Nobody, uh, she cannot lead worship. She'll make mistakes. She No, we all did that. In fact, when I started leading opening prayer in church, I had issues. I don't know where I got it from. But anytime I was leading opening prayer in church, my hand is in my pocket. Then I want somebody who come from behind me and then I'll put yeah, yeah, why, yeah, oh. Then, now, it was a mannerism I had to unlearn. It did not mean I was disrespectful. Probably I picked it up from somewhere. So, David's brother, what are you doing here? 
this is too much for you. It doesn't concern you. It doesn't. But listen, listen, listen. This is a time where young people need to arise. Hallelujah. Let's have some young men and young women arising and saying, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it through Christ who strengthens me. You can. Yes. So David did not mind him. He went, he was presented to the king. The king, this gentleman says that he can handle Goliath. Listen, there are many things. Ghana is waiting for this young generation to rise up. There are many things the older generation has no idea as to how to go about it. But God is counting on you, the young people. Let some politicians rise up from you. Hallelujah. You don't like politics. Okay, let some lawyers come up out of you. Let some doctors filled with the Holy Ghost come up out of you. Let some anointed accountants come up. Let some presidents and vice presidents and ministers arise who will change the face of Ghana. Hallelujah. And to cut the long story short, the king listened to David. Listen to him. Say, okay, may the Lord be with you. And he put his armor on him, trying to tell him that this is how we do it. You have to do it that way. Otherwise, you can't fight. Now, the question is, if the armor was that powerful, why, did not, why didn't the king wear it and go in? So he wore the king's armor. He said, I've not tried this one. Please put it aside. I'll go just as I am. You see, sometimes we try to fake a lot of young people here you want to fake everything you want to sound like somebody you want to behave like somebody you are unique i said you are unique hallelujah you are unique you don't need to sound like anybody and within no time david brought goliath down you can do it i said you are the one god is talking about you can god is going to use you don't wait until you grow Listen, when you grow, eh, I am ending, but listen, when you grow, when you grow, there are many things you cannot do. Tell somebody, when you grow, there are many things you cannot do. Tell another person, when you grow up, there are many things you cannot do. Many, many, many things you cannot do. So the time is... Let us see young people evangelizing and preaching the gospel. Let us see young people praying. Let us see young people arising and, and, and doing mighty things for, the, for God. Listen, exploits simply mean actions inspired by the Holy Spirit which bring glory to God. That's how I define exploits. Actions inspired by the Holy Spirit that bring glory to God. Let's see young people evangelizing. Young people leading worship in church. Young people praying for the sick. Young people laying hands on people. Young people arising in power. Young people being creative, innovative. Take up a leadership position. There's an opportunity to be a girl's prefect. Go for it. There's an opportunity to be a boy's prefect. Go for it. There's an opportunity to take up a leadership position. Go for it. And listen, you'll be amazed what God will do in your life. Be positioned. Be positioned. Hallelujah. Uh, my time is up. Let me just mention a few things and then we can pray. Listen. One of the first things I want you to be repositioned in is your salvation. Listen. There's no two ways about salvation. It is either Jesus or you are not saved. And this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life. This life is in the Son. He who has the Son has life. And he who does not have the Son does not have life. First John 5, 11 to 13. Acts 4, 12. There is no name given among men by which we must be saved. Save the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus said, I am the way. John 14, 6. The way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except by me. Be settled. Is there anybody here who is not born again? I, 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 want to, I want to speak to you. The first step to be repositioned for all the things we are talking about is to give your life to Jesus. Is to be assured of your salvation. 
Secondly, be filled with the Holy Ghost. I know tomorrow we are going to pray. Be filled. Be empowered by the Holy Ghost. And then thirdly, see, have personal encounters with God through personal devotion. Make time every morning. Pray to God. Read your Bible. Stir up your spirit. Get involved in evangelism. Take your academics seriously. I wish I had time. I would have shared a lot of many, a lot of things with you. Take your academics seriously. And then train yourself. Start training yourself to be godly. If you are writing exams, when I was in senior high school, my principle was this. When we are writing, sitting for exams, you ask me, I don't mind you. I also don't ask you. No copy. If, listen, if you start cheating in exams, when you get money, you will steal some. Start practicing. And then, learn a skill. Harness a skill. Improve. Learn how to type. Learn how to sing. How to play a musical instrument. Football. Sports. IT. Learn something. Probably, that is what will catapult you to that place of maximum impact. And then lastly, be careful with your friends. There are many people, the only reason why they are not repositioned for impact is that their friends around them are not helping them. One of the things I did when I decided to get serious is that I changed my friends. I changed my friends. Please let's rise to our feet as we pray. Are you ready to pray? Who wants to be used by God? Who wants to be used on that campus? In that school? Who wants to be used by God to evangelize? Who wants to be used by God to set friends free from addictions? Who wants to be used by God to minister songs in power? Who wants to be used by God? And we are talking about now, not tomorrow. Now, now. Not in the future. You are not too young. I want you to lift up your voice and begin to pray and surrender to God right now. Begin to pray and surrender to God. Spirit of God. David. David stood up against that which was disturbing the people of God. Like the Maccabees, David stood out. He did not allow Goliath to intimidate him. The Maccabees did not allow. They were adults, but David was a young man. You are young with all these imperfections. You are not sure about yourself. You have uncertainties. But God is telling you that he, you are the one he wants to use. Lift up your voice right and begin to pray. Say, God, touch me. Use me on campus. In that school, use me, oh God. Use me. I want to be used. Lift up your voice and pray. Talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God. If you are going through any tough times, struggling with an addiction, struggling with anything the lord is here and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty talk to god maybe you are struggling with something you really want to be used by god but you are engulfed in something begin to pray and talk to god and open up open up right now now listen if you are here and you have not given your life to jesus you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Probably you go to church. Probably you are engaged in religious things. But you have not given your life to Jesus. I want you to take some steps forward. And let's pray with you. Let's help you to accept Jesus. It will be a story to tell that on the first night of Shekinah Conference 2023, I gave my life to Jesus if i give god my lifetime yes in all the satellite centers 
in all the satellite centers if anybody wants to give his life to Jesus we want you to just take steps forward is there anybody here you want to give your life to Jesus you are taking a decision if I give God my life he will take care church but you want to give your life to Jesus you want to say Lord Jesus I surrender my life to you that is the beginning of exploits that is the beginning of maximum impact is there anybody here who is ready anybody wants to give his life to Jesus the time is now just take steps forward the leader there or the coordinator there will help you and you have to say this prayer after us yes who else is coming yes I know some other people are coming just come don't be shy just come just come and give your life to Jesus if I give God my life yes Yes, come. We are waiting for you. We are waiting for you. Now, this is the best decision you will ever take in your life. To decide to give your life to Jesus. It's the best decisions you decision you ever take. Now, if you can, those of you standing in front, if you can, just lift up your hands. And even those are the satellite centers. Even those are the satellite centers. Just follow us as we pray. Now. say heavenly father I believe that I'm a sinner that you sent Jesus into this world to live a sinless life and die on the cross for me therefore today Jesus I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior Come and live in my heart and help me to serve you. And let's all shout a big amen. amen. Can we please have the pastors here to just to pray with our brothers here? If I give God my life time. If there are elders here, you can please join. Oh, he will never, never. He will never. Let's pray for them. Let's lay hands on them. If I give God my life time, He will take care of me. May the Lord preserve you. I am a never, never
have some people to maybe um, a patrons of people to please please move this this side um, okay there's a space there so please follow um, yes follow our dear brother there and follow him right there follow him right there now I, I believe that God uh, we will we'll, we'll end up just a few minutes now you are here you are you are you have given your life to Jesus you go to church you are okay but you see you want to take a decision today that you are breaking off from some things and that you are totally surrendered unto God that today my entire life is for Jesus you have, you have given your life to Christ, all right. But you want to make a commitment today that I will be used by God. That my life, my voice, my eyes, my ears, my mouth will be a, will be vessels of glory unto God. I know not, a, but but just take some steps forward. Such people here, just come here. We'll pray with you. Just come here. You want, you are deciding that I will I will let God use me. Yes. I want God to use me. Yes. It might not be everybody, but I want God to use me. I want God to use me. Something is not right about my life. Yes. Well, I'm not expecting everybody to come. That is an army. We can also pray. That is an army. That is an army of God. I kapanda rata da bala da bada ba i kada ba du sata ayaka da ra pa pa bando ra bo sato bayanda ayaka da bala da 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 ra ka pa la ba do sata da 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 i pa la ba du sata ba ra da da ba ba i ta la ba bo sata ba da ba ka pa ayaka da ka da bala da 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 i ko ra ba bo sata Now I want you to lift up your hands. Yes. If you can. I want you to say, Lord, Lord my life, my life is for you. Is for you. Use me for your glory. Use me for your glory. Use me, Lord. Use me, Lord. As a vessel. Use me, Lord. As a vessel.
are the ones you are the ones the Lord will use to evangelize let some evangelists arise let some innovators let some people with graces unusual arise may the Lord touch you mightily from tonight take over from tonight reach out from tonight reach out when you stretch your hands the lord will do mighty things through you oh by us oh by us oh by us Masuka to rabanda la baka, ya kadanda balado sata, inka palada da bato sada da da da, mayanta rapo sada, inka tanda bratu sada da, ya kadada balada da baka panda, inda la 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 basi rapo rapo sata, ya tu rabanda le, inka tu rasata da 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 da, inba la bala baka pa rado sada da. Yagadanda balosa da 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 da, ibala kapanda la ba. Yagadagada balada da balada da 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 da, yagadada da balada da ba da ba. Rapa balada ba da ba da ba, ita da 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 balada da ba. Ayagadaga da balada ba, rapa panda da ba. Yagosa da ba, yagadaga da balada da ba. Use me Lord, use me Lord. Ayagada balada ba, rapa da 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 ba. Ia kada kada bala da bala kapa, inda la da da bala kapa, inda la ba dosa da da da. Ia kada kada bala ba, aya kada bala da da bala da da. Inda da 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 ba kapa, inda la ba bo, aya kada kada bala da 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 da. Father use me, Father use me, use me Lord, 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 use me Lord. Aya kada kada bala da da, ba bala da da da. Palo. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. Now, those seeming giants of pornography, of masturbation, those seeming giants that appear like they cannot be conquered, you are the ones God is going to use to deliver people. In the name of Jesus. Giants of occultism. Seeming giants of sexual immorality, in the name of seeming Jesus. giants of moral corruption, oh, will you come da, 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 da. down yes. because God is going to cause you to manifest. In the name of Jesus. God is going to cause you to manifest. Yes. Labo shaka vaya no basa kata. In the name of Jesus. Now we want to ask Adi Apostle Ibn Zahigan to pray. Listen, God, God will use you. He wants to use you. Or pe where you should have that. Now don't want that. God will use you to bring down giants that have confounded people for a long time. Myself away. Oh, I keep myself away. Oh God, so you use me. I keep myself away.
ourselves away, Lord. Give myself away. Father, we give ourselves away. So you can use us, Lord. So you can use us, Lord. We want you to use us, Lord. We belong to you, Lord. Stay no longer with you. Goodbye. I'll say, I'll say, I stay, I stay, I stay no longer mind. with you. I made I up, up my mind, mind to go that way the rest of my life. Oh, I made I up, up my mind, mind to go that way the rest of my life. Tonight we raise up our hands all over this building, all over the nation, Father, all over the satellite centers. We raise up our hands to say that we choose you, to say that Lord, we choose you, to say that we belong to you, Lord, we are for you. Father, right now we pray. That let there be a separation. Jesus. Father, let there be a separation. Amen. Tonight we separate ourselves from the world. Jesus. We separate ourselves from our weakness yes. and from our cult practices. Father, from sexual immorality. Yes. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, we plead the covering of the blood of Jesus, Jesus. over every young person. All over Ghana, as we lift up our hands, Father, oh God, Father, oh God, Father, oh God, we separate ourselves. Father, we ask that you reposition us. Father, reposition us for yourself. Father, reposition us for yourself. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Father. Reposition us. Turn our hearts. Turn our minds. Turn our love. Turn our commitment. Let us be like David. Let us be like David. Let us be like David. In the name of Jesus. Now raise up your hand. Raise up your hand. Raise up your hands. Raise up your hand. Lift up your hand. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord's hand come over you. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord touch you right now. Amen. May the Lord separate you. Amen. From the age yes. and from whatever the devil is doing. Jesus. Tonight, Aye. we break the power of the devil Amen. over your life, Jesus. over your neck, Jesus. over your destiny. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Name Amen. Of Jesus. May the power of God yes, come over you wherever you Amen. are. Amen. And every kind of struggle you are under, any kind Jesus. of addiction, any kind of bondage, Jesus. tonight we set you free. Amen. Tonight we set you free. Amen. Tonight we set you free. Amen. Any kind of pressure, any kind of intimidation that you are under, today we set you free. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Anything that discourages you. Oh. 
Anything that intimidates you. Jesus. Anything that makes you compare yourself with oh, others. Da, 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 da. And hold yourself back. And say, no, you can't. Tonight we set you free. Amen. And now may the power of God come over your life. Amen. The power of the word of God we have received tonight. Amen. May it come over your life. Amen. May you be released wherever you are. In the name of Jesus. And may you say yes to Jesus our God. Name. May the power of God rest upon you. Yes, Lord. And may you be released tonight. May your will be released. Amen. May your spirit be released. Amen. May you be given out In the name yes. to Jesus. the work of God. And may you not be timid. Take over wherever God has put you. Amen. And take over as the leader wherever God Amen. has put you. Yes. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Be blessed in all you do. Oh, yes, Lord. And may you be for the glory Jesus of our God. Name. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Shall we have a big amen on that one? Amen. amen. A second one. Amen. And a third powerful one. Amen. 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 God bless you. I've made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life. I've made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life. I've made up my mind to go God's way. us to offer unto the Lord and I would like to invite our praise team to help us with this. Oh, hallelujah. It's time to give unto the Lord.
Come listen this mighty name Some of our satellite areas, I would like to say hello to our sinful Sue, 
downtown of Fanko, Accra New Town, Achimota, Bawe, and PIWC Bompata. Please let's give them a wave. Okay. So next, I would like to invite the Deputy Director, Elder Professor Apao Asante, to give us a message. Let's give him a round of applause. Christ in you. Oh, do it well. Christ in you. Uh, we want to give glory to the Lord indeed. How many of us have experienced the Lord tonight? Tonight. We want to give glory to the Lord. Give a clap unto the Lord. Clap unto the Lord. Our uh, dear friends at the various such life centers, uh, we, we wish that you give us a wave. It's so beautiful seeing you uh, actively engaged in the service at the various such life centers. Asin Fosu, can you give us a wave? We want to see those in Asin Fosu. In any of the sectors, awesome, awesome. Let's clap for our friends in Asin Fosu. We see you there, fully participating. Uh, how about those in the Achimota, Achimota zone, Achimota sector? Yes, give us a wave wherever you are. Give us a wave, Achimota. Can you spot them? Do you see them? Yeah, yeah, let's wave, Achimota. Let's wave. Clap. All right. Uh, any of the centers in, in the Ashanti region? Any of the centers in Ashanti region? Give us a wave if you are joining us from the Ashanti region. A wave. Can we see them? Awesome. All right. All right. Let's clap for them. Good. God richly bless you. That is just uh, a quick sampling to check how you are tuning in. And we want to bless the Lord so much. Um, just a few observations to help as we wrap up. And we believe that you would be picking and addressing this at the various satellite centers. The crust of the whole thing is that we want the Lord to empower all of us wherever we are to do exploits. And the concept is that this is only the command center. Certain activities are held here, and it is to re be replicated at the various um, centers. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. And therefore, we are expecting that we follow as the structures are, but we diversify and open up for the leadings of the Holy Spirit. Are we together? And here I'm speaking to all the satellite centers. We are want to plead with our dear youth pastors, our traveling secretaries, and the coordinators of the various satellite centers to flow in the direction of the Holy Spirit and tune in to where specifically um, we have scheduled that you tune in to the satellite centers. Where the leading of the Spirit is directing us to be praying and impacting and ensuring the Holy Ghost baptism takes charge over the young people who have gathered there, please be led and ensure that we receive the touch of the Lord in that manner. Where you want to engage them in the local activities, for example, like the drama we, they did here, if there is a drama also that has been planned, fitting into the system as, have been, as the team shows, please feel free and flow in that direction, but be in tune as the structures are. Tomorrow's service is full of activities that would help us, coordinate our runners through the activities shortly, but that will help us generally, and then also we expect that we will package an activity that will help your particular satellite center and empower them accordingly. So we look forward to everybody engaging so much. Please remember that we don't want the, se the, the, the service to be technically deficient in any way. In other words, where your system is dropping doesn't mean that you are cut off of the spirituality of the whole session. So leadership must be active at the various sectors and open up to the leadings of the spirit. Clap and sing and dance, be active and be in tune as the church and the conference runs. We trust that the spirit of God will continue to brood over us and you would be blessed as you stay tuned. Amen. Um, coordinator World. Walk us through um, tomorrow, the timing of the sections.